This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we're going to talk about Ethernet networking. Uh, there's a couple different scenarios that you can do. Uh, we're going to rig, network our Onyx 10 combo at the front with our Onyx 10 side imaging unit at the back in this video. But this same thing will pertain to the 800 series, the 900 series, and the 1100 series. Both the current 9 series, which is like 1199, uh, and the prior 8 series. So if you've got a 798 CI HD, that is an Ethernet networkable unit. Um, that now currently only the 899 859 and the 899 and the 959 and the 1199 and the 1159 are networkable. But you can combine on the 8, 789 and 1100 series that are Ethernet capable, you can mix those units together. Onyx needs to be Onyx to Onyx currently, uh, not cross compatible with prior series units. Uh, this is a new style network. But if you're going to do a single network, you will just need an Ethernet cable uh, of the appropriate length. These are basically, uh, there's a 2 foot, a 10 foot, 15, 20, and 30. Make sure when you measure it you've got extra room. If you're at 15 foot, you're probably not going to need to buy a 20 versus a 15. It doesn't hurt to have extra cable uh, of the Ethernet. But it's a simple setup between it. Uh, spin our unit around here. On the back of your unit, you will find a the Onyx are going to be a silver port. On your 8, 9, and 1100 series with the 9 series designation, well 9 is the last number, you will need a dongle cable which is a little short pigtail because now Humminbird has incorporated that quick disconnect feature of that unit with the, don with the little pigtail adapter which is called a dongle. Uh, it goes from this connection to a square connection in the back of the unit and it all plugs in together so it makes it quick and simple to unplug. All you have to do is hook this Ethernet cable and there's a little indexing mark you'll see on the unit and screw this one in to the back of this unit Take this end, spin these around so you can see. And I would go do the same thing on the other unit. I'm doing this above the boat so you can see exactly how to do it. How it works because you're going to do this underneath the underneath the boat. So you basically got one cable hooking this unit to that front unit. That'll allow you to share in the Onyx. It'll allow them to share technology between them. It will also allow you to on the prior series to share GPS, the transducer data if it's similar technology and you can share temp probes plus allow waypoint sharing. That's all you've got to do if you've got two units and no accessories to connect an Ethernet networking. Just run your cable in between, hook them to both units and you're done and you're sharing. Now we're going to get a little more complicated because this unit, we've got our th BOW 360, we've got two Onyxes, uh, it requires a 5-port Ethernet hub. It's going to look like this. It's an AS ETH 5PYG. 
This hub allows us to hook multiple units or multiple units and extra accessories like radar, AIS systems, uh, 360, bow or transom uh, plus units. If you need more expandability than five ports, you can buy a pigtail and you can go from, you can buy, put an X stack an extra Ethernet hub so you can add a short cable in between it and allow you to stack them to infinity. So you could have thousands of units and you would need a bunch of these Ethernet hubs and have unlimited capacity of sharing between products on your boat. So let's get into this situation. We're going to leave our one cable here. We're going to undo this cable since we're going to a multiple unit setup. And I'm going to, the hub needs to be installed somewhere. I'm going to install it inside my console here to protect it. It does require power, and I have already attached a power cable. It needs to be switched power. Um, that's going to go in this last port. So I'm going to hook my power up. You're going to hook unit one. This is actually a 20 foot cable. I'm going to use port number two because I'm going to designate port number one as my console unit, port number two as my second unit. Same thing with this hub, it's got an indexing mark. Normally it's about the three o'clock position if you're looking at it. And you'll just hook it up directly into it. This is the package that the ethernet cables come in, ASEC 10E. The 10, the numbers designate the length. So if you needed a 20, it would be an ASEC 20E. A two would be an ASEC 2E. This is my 10 foot cable, and it doesn't matter which end uh, hooks to the unit. We're going to plug it into the unit here. Then we're going to plug it into our, I'm going to plug it into port 1. It doesn't matter which port you use, I'm just using this for reference. If I ever needed to troubleshoot something, I know which one is which where. I try to make it simple and think of worst case scenarios for everything. Next, we've got our BOW 360 already rigged on our new Minn Kota Fortrex 112. Uh, it's got an Ethernet connection. It's on the back end. It's going to look just like our unit one. What we need to do is if we hook it to a hub, it allows me to share 360 to both units. So what it has is it has what they call the 20 foot extension cable. You'll need to take the extension that comes with it, connect it right here, Just connect that, and I'm going to run this back to the back. I'm going to use port 5 because it's not a unit. That way I know this is the uh, 360. And that's basically all it requires to run a hub. You'll have your wires rigged under the boat uh, between units. Now one thing I like to do is use tape. This is just another little, this is my little tip and trick. Uh, I like to take a little piece of electric tape and I'm going to wrap each in. I'm going to color code these things because when these wires get underneath here, you want to make sure you're going to pull the right wire if you 
need to change something out. So just take you a little piece of tape. I'm going to use red on the front unit, and I just go right behind the connector. And just tape it around the wire. I got red and orange. This gives me a little color coding. Uh, I like to know exactly, that's why I like to rig my own electronics. I want to know exactly where everything's at if I do ever have a concern that I need to check uh, a connection. You know, if the connection gets loose or something like that, I know exactly and quickly know where to go back to it. Uh, this just helps me out. Is when the cable's underneath, you don't know which ends which ends which. And if you can make it faster and easier, they allow you to get back on the water faster and catch more fish instead of uh, resolving a concern. Ninety-nine percent of the concerns are your installation or wiring somewhere. Uh, it fixes most of them. Now let's uh, flip these around and uh, we'll fire these bad boys up. Okay, we got our two hummingbirds. Just hit confirm. We're going to go to master menu. If you set up a new network, and I've already run these, uh, it's going to ask you to sync the network, and I'm going to show you real quick. You go into settings, you go to your network tab down here, and we're going to go to network info. It's going to show uh, the different units, the Ethernet switch, the three, the remote unit, this unit, and the 360 imaging are all found. Now I'm going to configure new network. And I'm going to sync network. It's going to ask you that sync network. All nav data must be saved. But only the settings in the selected network will be preserved. Continuous synchronization. This is only on the Onyx system. You'll have to go into the Ethernet tab on your 800, 900, and 1100 series units to set up that network. This one will do it for you. And you watch. Both of them are talking now. We've got the same screen on both units. Just let them work. Let them do its thing. It says all units also must be powered during network setup. That's why we had to turn both of them on because it's talking back and forth to them. With an Onyx system, this is a side imaging model, as you can see on the box. That is a 2D combo unit only. Onyx allows us to share the same data to both units at the same time. So, we can actually have side imaging data from the back be used on a combo unit now, down imaging, 2D, we can use any of, we can use the features of the other unit on our, basically that's our master unit, this is our slave unit. What I'm planning to do is my side imaging, down imaging, and, and 360 data is going to come from about 360, because you can use a 360 to create side imaging and down imaging data. So I'm going to have that from the front. I've also got side imaging on the back. It's going to give me two sources of where I want my side imaging data from. Uh, my 2D data is coming through the universal sonar. So I have 
all my own technology up for the front and I've got all my own technology for the back uh, but using two different models of units that is one of the nice things with the new Onyx you don't have to buy the same unit to utilize the same features the network is configured we're ready to go fishing I hope that helped you learn a little more about Ethernet networking and how to set up a network. It's very simple, very easy. I hope this helped you jump in there, do your own, get set up. Uh, some awesome products from Humminbird and there's some awesome technology with this new Onyx that's allowing us to do more without having to have more investment in it. You can, you can save some money by not having to buy two side imaging models. You can buy a side imaging and a combo and utilize the technology on both. I hope that helped you out. Tune in next time to another set of tips and tricks as we show you more of the products from my sponsors and how easy to use them and to set them up and get the most out of them. Thank you and tune in next time.